My goal is to prove that you can ride the entire world by motorcycle, taken on each country, leg by leg, aiming to store my bike in different locations, while needing to fly home, work a full-time job, and of course, look after my amazing family. This is my dream, this is my goal, this is my adventure, so let's go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on day three of leg four of riding the world by motorcycle. We're currently in Abavasi and what we're aiming to do is ride the whole length of Portugal, the whole of the N2 of Portugal, the National 2, what's the most famous road in Portugal. They claim it's the Route 66 of Portugal. So let's see what craziness that we can find and hope that my bike Ashworth doesn't break again. <laughs> let's go. This adventure is supported by Ashworth Automotive in Western Supermare, the number one garage keeping you and Helminghead on the road. Well, let's go, shall we? Let's go and see what we can find on the N2 today. It's going to be hot, 25 degrees. So let's just have a quick look before we set off properly exactly where we are. So we are here and the nearest town from where we are, what I probably got wrong earlier, is Visu. And then from there we are going to catch the N2 here. And we are going to keep just literally follow the N2 all day. I've put this in as a waypoint because on Google Maps it's got a picture of a bridge. And it's just, a, just to keep us on the N2 basically. But ideally we need to do probably today about 200 probably plus kilometers so we've got some decent mile hacking to do but let's get on the road well as we were riding along we rode past this what looks to me like an old kind of church and we sort of went past and i was like oh look at that and we're like shall we yeah let's go and have a look let's go and check this out Now, if that is not creepy, I don't know what isn't. What is going on here? Look. This is, um, is that beer cans? Beer cans! No, it's spray. Oh, for the people that have ruined the wall. Look. What's behind the door? Someone told us something about melon women in, in um, Portugal. They did, didn't they, Paul? Do you remember? Which? Melon women or something? Yeah. The, the women selling melons isn't selling melons, apparently. So this might be their, uh, their den. Just proper dodge, isn't it? I don't know if this... What this used to be. It looks potentially like it could have been an old church. Oh, the roof's literally caving in. <laughs> oh, look, there's a... This is where, obviously, where there was the kitchen, I'm guessing. Or the torture room, potentially. <laughs> One or the other. But, yeah. Dodgy as. To be fair, though, I do like the doors. I wouldn't mind them for home. Refurb them, of course. Or just buy the whole place again, because we could make this into a... A motorcycle cafe imagine actually redoing it all done up all the old wood all the helmet head bikes in a line there like a, a showpiece there paul could model the kit obviously he's not got a helmet head t-shirt because he's tight um but if we could have all racks of stuff there for the helmet head stuff we could have all the sort of cameras and the memorabilia that we've collected throughout the world trip and the channel in general and of course in here would be the cafe it would be a massive seating area with a bar which is what paul said full of non-alcoholic beer so anybody that comes to me could definitely ride home it's definitely non-alcoholic but look perfect so that's it then right let's go find the owner let's get it bought now just before we jump back on the road after checking out the creepy building that's to the left of me i just thought i'd talk about the n2 itself because road surfaces like i get them saying the route 66 thing because there is it's basically a main highway that obviously goes 
all the way through Portugal. But you kind of have some of the roads are generally proper ropey, like pit holey, sort of splitting. And then you've got obviously roads like this where there's just like decent long straights. The tarmac itself is really, really good. And um, it's mostly this. And like I've said before, Nick, you're going into sort of village and town after town after town as well. Um, but then obviously there's some bits that, that feel very mainy, kind of like as you'd expect. So there's a real mixture of stuff. But so far we've had mountains, villages, almost like big towns, maybe even a city <laughs> we've gone through. And rubbish tarmac, great tarmac and unbelievable twisty bends to give you an idea. Obviously we're only on day two. So anyway, back on the road. So we've just pulled over at one of the N2 sort of information places where you can buy massive books that tell you about all of the old churches and buildings on the way. But to be quite honest, it absolutely bores me. So I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't want to buy a book and look at old churches and buildings. Just, I don't. I think they're pretty. I just, I like to ride and I like, for me it's the view and the scenery. But one of the things that's really cool, and you get this along all the way along the route, normally they're quite small as well to give you how the, like, the numbers and the distances sort of thing. But if you look at this just here, you've got these kind of big stone um, and a lot of times they're smaller and what you've got then is you've got the distances so we're going to Faro so we've still got 525 kilometers right out of here 525 kilometers still to go <laughs> but we're going to aim to do probably you know, we've still got loads and loads of time maybe do another sort of 200 kilometers today because that last day because i'm storing ashworth in obviously a, a honda deal i really want to be there by sort of early afternoon so i've got plenty of time to put it away unpack it order the tire and just chill but literally everywhere you go you've got these so you can continuously count down how many miles that you get and if i get a chance if we find somewhere to stop on the side of the sort of main road, you'll, I'll show you the little tiny ones as well. But it's quite cool. The one thing about the N2 is, is that not every roundabout you come up to says N2, and you just instantly go, I'll just continue on. And you quickly find that you've gone the wrong way, <laughs> so you have to turn around. So I'm dropping Google pins constantly on, on the N2 and having to make sure that we're still on it. But we're doing well, I reckon, we're doing well. And also, I'll try and show you the yellow ones as well. They've got yellow ones where all people that are riding it put all their stickers all over it and stuff. So I'll try and show you some of them as well, if we can get some more, because that, that's just a stock on one, so it's rubbish. I'll show you a proper one. Anyway, another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful town. The roads for this so far on this section have pretty much been, given their dues like Route 66, pretty much very much straight with a little bend here and there, but pretty much straight. Not really all that exciting. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping the roads pick up a little bit more, but at least we can hammer some more miles down. So of course, what do we do now? get back on the road. Well, as we have literally hit the twisties and going up sort of the mountain forest that's all around us, that's quite exciting. We're having quite a giggle. But one of the things about the uh, National 2, the N2 in Portugal, was it actually started in 1945 and it is now 78 years old. This amazing route. And we are literally passing so many bikers that's loving it. But you, you can see the mountain views behind me. It is beautiful and picturesque. And the tarmac, right now, the tarmac is awesome. It's old school, but it's awesome. There's no potholes or anything. So we're able to hammer down some miles. But it looks like we're going to continue doing loads of twisters as we go sort of over the mountain and down. But beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So do you know what I'm going to do? As always, I'm going to make it absolutely 11 out of 10 and show you how beautiful this is. So check this out. I just said I was going to show you the 360. Can you hear the rumble? We just had the massive, massive thunder. I've not had anything as loud as that. And it was going and going and going. <laughs> I just hope we don't hit it. That sounds mental. Right. I'm going to try and get you this awesome, epic, footage of us going down this road before by sounds we're going to hit an unbelievable terrible thunderstorm i hope not rivers run dry dust spreads in the air 
Two dark days, do you have a tear to spear? Make a promise, the world awaits It's heavy, just breathing through this debate Start up, come on, start a riot When they love you too much, now it's fame, fate, or even hate Don't be scared when the weight paralyzes your state at the gate It's a lot to take in, it's designed to know and don't wait Don't be scared when the way paralyzes your state at the gate. managed to escape the storm until very recently and it is now peeing it down i have changed my jacket over to my textile i should have put my waterproof on because we could clearly see we we're going in storm i can feel via my trainers what i shouldn't really be wearing but my trainers i can feel the um i can feel my socks already getting soaking wet and in front of me they're the socks from the first day that got drenched through that still hadn't dried properly and were stinking so they're on there too dry going into the water but we reckon over in the distance you'll see we've got some nice clouds so we might just be riding in the edge of the storm and if that's the case we could be out into some sunshine very shortly and we will dry out instantly because we're sexy and good looking and all the heat just comes to us and takes off all that all that water so it'll be fine it'll all be fine but it's nice because it's kind of cool in because it's still like 20 probably 21 degrees or something like that it's got a slight nip because of wind chill but the roads are still beautiful the bends are amazing it's still all good right a few more miles we're going to shortly pull over it's nearly half past two we're going to pull over around 3 p.m look at booking our next accommodation somewhere on the obviously the n2 and aim to probably hack down at that point 100k to get to that that's our thinking that's our plan but we'll see what happens so we've come through the rainstorm and into some beautiful sun so we did just go around the edge of it was fantastic it's a little bit windy but earlier on i did mention about showing you a really nice bridge or a bridge that could be something on google maps we kind of went past this so-called bridge and there was nothing there and we kept going and i completely forgot about it so what i thought i'd do just to make it epic i thought i'd replace the bridge with an epic epic dam shot not that i've just come across an epic unbelievable dam so I'm going to try and make this as cinematic as possible because I missed the bridge, if this works.
Well, I'm pretty sure you'll agree with me. That's better than a, a bridge that I couldn't find. It is a picturesque dam behind me, that's for sure. Now, we have booked our actual um, hotel. It's around 100 kilometers away. I've done the typical looking down the end to checking for hotels, trying to get somewhere about 100 kilometers away. And I found one. I cannot pronounce the name. It's something like blub, 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 blub. But it was the only place I think the hotel's called Port de Sol. But I'll tell you more on the map when we get there. But we've got basically, by looks of it, all we're going to be doing is going where the dam goes up and loads and loads and loads more twisters. So we're going to have a bit more of a gunning it, bombing it time. But I went to a point now where like I need a coffee or a beer, to be honest with you. Um, because I've just I've loved today, but I'm just at that point. So we're gonna hammer down some miles now. We'll see what else we come across, but basically, if not, we're gonna get to the hotel. 100 kilometers, there'll be more excitement, I'm sure. But let's hit the road yet again. Well, we've pretty much done kind of, it's just been like our version of A-Rose, but fast, twisty bends, and we've had a bit of a giggle because I'm quicker downhill, because obviously the weight of the bike, and obviously Paul on the pink my bike's quicker going uphill. So I'm sort of getting some distance away, and then I get a big uphill, and you're throttling it, aren't you? <laughs> and you're overtaking me. I'm going, no, 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 no. And we did the old fashioned childish thing, didn't we? We both leant down on the tank, try, trying to oh, win. <laughs> My neck aches now. Yes, yeah, so mine and my bum aches as well. What do you reckon we've done? 200 kilometres today? I'm not counting. Who's counting? No, I'm not really. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's got to be 200 or just over, I reckon. Getting for it. We've done some miles today, or kilometres. Yeah, or we've yeah. done well, haven't we? But yeah. what we've got now is, what, 40, sort of 6, 47 kilometres to the hotel. Just one last kind of sort of go. But how are you finding the pink bike? Loving it. You're loving Absolutely it? Absolutely loving it. Are you going to yeah. buy one now? No. I keep trying to talk him into buying a monkey bike. He will eventually, I'm sure it will all work. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to jump back on the bikes and we're just going to hammer it now and get to the hotel. Well, we have made it to the hotel. Now, the place that we're staying is Point Disor, and the actual hotel is called Hotel Point Or if that makes sense. So they're obviously very much into their region and everything else. The hotel has cost me £45. Let me give you a quick tour. Now, it's very modern. I'll give them their dues. It is very small. You've got a twin bed. So if you were sharing with a mate, you are extremely, <laughs> extremely close. Apparently, the suite upstairs is already taken. Otherwise, I could have had that. So yeah, it's just your standard, isn't it? But it is, like I said, really small. You've got the telly that nobody ever watches, a shelf to put your bits and bobs on. Nowhere to edit if I wanted to edit tonight. So I'm going to have to transfer all my footage onto my external hard drive. Um, but literally, this is it. The bathroom, nice, modern, clean and good. Comes with good old shower gel and moisturiser. Modern shower. Obviously a toilet. Nowhere to a fountain, nowhere to get any water tonight, unfortunately. But, do you know what? It's got the best looking lord in the world. Well, today has been quite epic. It's been nice. I am quite tired from it. It's a lot of, we had a lot of nice sweeping up and down through the mountains. We had some sort of major kind of feeling of like, almost like for us, um, A roads, obviously sticking on the end to virtual the way of them I come off. But I think that was, you had to come off to go over the bridges, to go over the, the rivers. But generally it's just been another beautiful eye candy day. The roads is just, <laughs> just we're just good in it and sweeping down. Ashworth has been running an absolute treat today. I've not broken anything else. Um, Lee, who who's, who's, uh, owns the garage, Ashworth Automotive, won't be sitting there going like, please don't break anything else, Alan. I won't. Honestly, it's all good. Hopefully, I say that. But everything's going according to plan. We've got to obviously continue. Now, we're well over the sort of halfway point in regards to the N2 and the route that we're doing. What we need to be, because we've only really got tomorrow of a full day of riding. And then obviously the day after that is when I put the bike into storage. So I really want to get there sort of early afternoon. So I reckon tomorrow we're probably going to hack around another 200 to 250 kilometers and we'll be absolutely spot on. Obviously, I'm guessing that it's going to get more and more kind of flat as being going through the mountains up and down. I'm guessing it's going to sort of flatten out as we get towards the coast. But who knows? We'll find out. I'm going to go and have a cheeky look at Google Maps to give myself an idea of where we're going. But pretty much I'll just stick a pin in loads of different points along the N2 and just keep going. 
but it's all going really, really well. So it's that time for me to go and get a beer, do the kaching with Paul, chill out for the rest of the evening, and let's see what tomorrow's craziness brings. Hopefully just more and more epicness. And anyway, I'll see you then. You take care. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>